Kevin, so you are here for an acute appointment. Tell me what brings you in today. Um, about two days ago, I started having severe pain in my stomach. Burning sensation, really bad. Burning sensation, mm -hmm. all right. And uh, so this started two days back? Yes. And the pain is in the upper tummy? It's in the band across here, mainly in this midsection area. And does it go anywhere or it stays here? It stays all right in this midsection. A little, I don't know if it's copain, what it is around the back, but I don't know if that's just for me it being tense, but the main point of the pain is all concentrated here. All right. So on a scale of 0 to 10, how severe is the pain? Uh, it's been all the way up to 8 or 9, I would say. Uh -huh. Almost enough to make me double over. All right. And this has been going on for the last two days? Correct. So is it there all the time or it comes and goes? It's constant pain. Uh -huh. It may get worse at times. It never really gets below a six, or what I'd say a six. It's very discomforting constantly, like it is now. And it, then it will spike a little bit, and in the evenings it seemed to have gotten a little worse. All right. How would you describe this pain? Is it like an aching pain, like a burning pain, like a sharp pain? It's more of a burning sensation. As I described it to a friend the other day, it's, it's like someone has a blowtorch in my stomach or whatever. It just it's. I don't know, it's, it's just like, or they're scraping in there or something is what it feels like. Got it. So what you said that if there are times when it gets worse, mm -hmm. do you, have you found a correlation as to what makes it worse? No, there's really, I'm not, do, it's not that I eat something in the last few days I've eaten very little because I haven't felt very good. So it's not that I eat, it's not, it's just that there's times where it just seems to flare up, I guess would be a better way to put it. So it is not related to eating? No. After you eat, it doesn't get worse? Actually, with the little bit that I've eaten, I've tried to eat some just bland food, it actually feels a little bit better. It does uh, get a little bit better? Not, it doesn't get worse, I guess would be the way to put it. All right. So, so do you have any nausea or any vomiting? No, no, no neither. Any loose tools? No. Nope. Any fever? No. Nope. Any shortness of breath? No. Nope. Any chest pain? No. Nope. And have you had this kind of a pain before? Never. Really? Never. <laughs> okay. So, what have you been doing? You've been hurting for the last two days. Mm -hmm. What have you been doing for your pain? Uh, I took some, just Tums, just uh -huh. to some Tums. I thought it might be, at first it felt a little like maybe an onset of, I had years ago, some acid reflux, but normally that, you get that sensation here, not here. Mm -hmm. And then I had some, um, if you don't mind, I took a picture of it because I know you like mm, whatever that is the generic of. Okay, so that is generic of Prevacet. Prevacet, yes. Or Lenzaprozole. Yeah, I took some Prevacet hoping that might, if it was stomach acid or something, that it might help decrease that. It's not been overly effective. So over the last two days, not yeah. any. Uh, have you taken any ibuprofen or any Tylenol? No. Have you been taking those pills before this? Yes. You've been taking ibuprofen? Some ibuprofen. For mm -hmm. what? Uh, soreness from the workouts and stuff, running and other things. So, so how much ibuprofen you've been taking? Oh, maybe 400 a day. Not every day, but frequently. Frequently, mm -hmm. on an average in a week, how much you've been taking? Maybe doing four that? days a week. Four days a week. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, just for your aches and pains yes. from your workout? Yeah. Anything else you would like to tell me about your tummy pain? So it is above your belly button. It is, it is above and below my sternum I guess it's this area right here and, it's and you are having some achiness in your and like I said I don't know if that's just tension me you know holding my stomach a lot mm -hmm. but it's just it seems to go around the back a little bit it, it's not it doesn't seem to be directly related I mean this is this is where the pain is right now right so. and help me understand Kevin so when the pain started can mm -hmm. you describe that moment to me what exactly brought it on I don't know it was just a there wasn't really anything, I guess, that brought it on. It was kind of a, just a feeling. I started getting like, hmm, that's kind of unusual or, you know, something. So what were you doing when it started? Oh my goodness. That was Monday. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> uh, not, 
nothing specific that I remember. If I'm not mistaken, I had taken my son to the driving range so that he could hit some balls, and I was sitting there waiting for him. It was maybe two in the afternoon, something like that. And you started having achiness. Mm -hmm. So how far was the drive when you took him to the range? Oh, it's only 10 minutes from my home to... Okay. Yeah. And your job on a day-to-day -day basis, what does it entail? Uh, it's a sales job. It's very stressful. International traveling all the time and, and other things. And so usually you, really, you are sitting or you are walking around? Sitting. All right. Let me examine you, Kevin. Okay. And let's see what is going on. Okay. Okay. So it is soft. Mm -hmm. Does it hurt when I push? Mm -hmm. Is it painful? Yeah, a little bit right there especially. So it is a little bit painful, huh? Mm -hmm. So a little tender in the epigastric area. And uh, remind me, have you been drinking, uh, do you drink alcohol? I do. I do. How much? Mm, not a significant amount, maybe a glass or two of wine a day. But nothing out of the ordinary? No, nothing out of the ordinary. So bowel sounds are normal, there is no tinkling sounds or... All right, let's sit up. So uh, right now, how much is your pain? Still a six. It is six? Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to see what happens if I make you sit upright mm -hmm. with your chest up and maintain this hollow. So let's sit completely upright. Yeah. Let's sit here like this, Kevin, and I want to see what happens to the tummy pain okay. after you've been sitting for maybe a minute or so. So, you know, the exam was essentially unremarkable except a little bit of tenderness mm -hmm. in the upper tummy. So, so your pain was six. Mm -hmm. How is the pain now? It's still six. It is still six? Yeah. Exactly the same, huh? Yeah, it's not. <clears throat> All right. So what we will do, Kevin, is let's uh, Let's try laying down on your tummy and let's try to do the uh, exercises and see if we can impact this pain. Okay. So here will be our thing. If I'm not able to change your pain today mm -hmm. by doing your spine movements, mm -hmm. then I'm going to proceed with CAT scan okay. right now. Okay. So we will do all that, um, the GI workup. But before that, let's see, let's make sure it is not coming, it is not reversible. Okay. If it is, then we may not have to do that. Okay. A video of a simple exercise first, and then we'll work on it and see if we can impact or change your pain. If we cannot, then we are proceeding with CAT scan and other things, so. So you will lay on your tummy mm -hmm. and you will just raise the top part of your body as the much as you can. The raises the top half of the body by straightening the arms while the pelvis and thighs remain relaxed. Having a lot of pain? Mm -hmm. The position is maintained for one to two seconds and then... Let's the see, otherwise we'll proceed to the right. Yeah, just almost like a the yoga move of the... Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Come over so here. Just try to relax so that the tummy sags okay. and then come down. Let's do around uh, 10 of these, Kevin. How long do I hold it for? Just, Just three down. or four seconds. Yeah. Okay. I would like you to turn your feet inwards so that we can disengage your gluteus muscles. Yeah. And when you are here, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Try to see if you can sag. Yes. So breathe out so that this sags and there's a more curvature you can increase. Yeah. Let's do it. And sag. Yeah. You need to be relaxed in the pelvis area to uh, help it go down. I've got the 
after that. Hmm? You will have to, uh, can you sag? I'm trying. Yeah. I know it is a little bit hard. Just, uh... So how is the tummy pain doing right now? Uh, I don't really feel it right now. So it was six. Mm -hmm. How is it now? So this is the first time you are not mm -hmm. having any pain, right? Mm -hmm. So that is interesting. So I think we'll keep on pursuing this and we'll see where we go. All right, let's go up. Wonderful. All right, so we will do another one. Roll over on your side. I want to show you. I want to see how your pain is after you are. You can come up, Kevin. Okay. You can stand up. <laughs> Keep on standing straight. So, how's the pain now? Gone. Good. <laughs> so, over the last two days, this is the first time you're not having any pain. Correct. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So, that yes. is a good response. We have seen, mm -hmm. right? All right. I am going to introduce one more exercise for you. Okay. So, put your hands here. Like this. Like okay. this. Uh -huh. And with your hand, you will push forward and you will arch your back going backwards as much as you can and then very good and then come up and then go back all right can go back go back you will do around um, do around 10 more and when you're going back Kevin uh -huh. I want you to go stretch as much as you can so you have to get this little bit push to go to the end range and I do not want you bending your knees okay go all the way back yeah good job any pain no yeah all right so now you can walk around okay. um, Let's uh, let's see what is happening to the tenderness. The pain is zero okay. now, mm -hmm. right? Right. So why don't you lie down? So you were having pain here when I was pushing. Mm -hmm. How's the pain now? Very minimal. So it is still there? Uh, not really. Not really? Because you were sore when I was pushing mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So just with doing simple back exercises, the pain is gone. Mm -hmm. Does that surprise you? Yes, completely. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm going to watch you again uh, for a while, for about half an hour here, because okay. you came in with severe abdominal pain, uh -huh. and I want you to sit and see if you can reproduce it. Okay. Because right now my working theory is that the pain is coming from your back. Okay. You've been doing lifting, and your uh -huh. job involves sitting, and you know that makes right. me a little bit suspicious. How's the pain? It's not bad. It is not back? No. All right, so if it is gone, <laughs> so then I think uh, we can watch. I don't think so I need to do any blood test or any CAT scan at this okay. stage. Mm -hmm. You remain in touch with me. Okay. I'll give you my number, okay? Mm -hmm. Text me or call me if the pain comes back. But uh, what I need to do is that I want you to do those two exercises regularly. Okay and you will sit upright, you already have a lumbar roll, I want to make sure that you are using the roll properly, mm -hmm. okay? But I want you to do 20 repetitions of back bends on your tummy, okay? five times a day, and 20 repetitions of standing mm -hmm. every one or two hours okay. throughout the day. And you will keep me posted by the end of the day, tomorrow, Okay. if the pain comes back, I need to know, Okay. all right? Certainly. But I don't want you doing any weightlifting for the time being. Okay. Because that's where you are messing up things. And okay. uh, we really need to work on your posture more. Okay. Because, uh, you know, this is the third kind of issue we are dealing with, right. believe it or not. Mm -hmm. You had a chest pain yes. from posture, now abdominal pain. Mm -hmm. And I think, Kevin, you and also. Neck. And neck. Uh -huh. So, see? Yes. So, your body is telling you yeah. what, what you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. Certainly. 
So let me bring the lumbar roll okay. and have a seat here and I want to see how you use it. It's usually positioned where they, if I'm not mistaken, where they said to have it was here, uh -huh. right above your, I don't know, the top of your, end of your spine. Right. And then so that you can keep that curve in your yeah. back just a little bit when you sit up and right. do at the computer like this. Yeah, and it is definitely better. I would like to uh, just point out a couple uh -huh. of things. So what we want is, I want your buttock to go slide all the way to okay. the back of the chair. Okay. So that there is a tight snug uh -huh. when this thing sits and arches, maintains that curve. Okay. You know the lordosis we talked mm -hmm. about? Mm -hmm. And then you will bend forward and just above the belt line, waistline, right. now you sit. Mm -hmm. So see, this is bringing your and chest out more. Mm -hmm. okay. And so keep this, is, keep this in mind that your buttock is all the way to the back of the okay. chair. Okay. And it tightly snugs yes. and you're sitting upright. Okay. Because that a little bit of slouching over time mm -hmm. will make your pain certainly come back. So yeah. Okay. Sounds good. You remain in touch with me. I will. Keep me posted today and tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. And if the pain comes back, I really need to know because I don't want to miss anything in your tummy. Okay. The other thing is I really do not want you taking any ibuprofen. Okay. And you are going to stop Bravacid, all other yeah. medicines. Yeah because I want to interpret your pain. Mm -hmm. If the pain is coming, I don't want to mask it with anything right. and I want to understand what is going on with your body. Okay. All Sounds right. good. Great. Thank you. Dr. Yeah.